Hello and welcome to Enrich Academy. In our previous video, we had talked about the basics of candlestick analysis, how it started, and its importance in technical analysis. We also looked at three types of candlestick patterns, the doji, dragonfly, and the gravestone. If you've missed this video, do watch the video. The link is provided in the description box below. In this video, we will look at some candlestick patterns that look similar, but they tell us a different sentiment about the market. Let's look at hammer. Hammer is a bullish reversal pattern which can be seen after a downtrend. It's made of one candle and looks like a hammer. The body can be green or red and is smaller than the size of the wick or shadow. You must pay attention to the shadow or the wick. It must be at least two times the size of the candle's body. Usually there's no shadow above the body of the candle, but sometimes you may find a small shadow in a real trading platform. Now before a hammer is formed, a downtrend or a selling trend takes place, which means the bears are in control. When you spot a hammer after a downtrend, ideally there's a gap down from the close of the previous candle to the open of the hammer candle. And this shows rejection of lower prices. So we see that there has been a constant selling trend before the hammer. But the buyers also put up a good fight and keep buying and finally win the battle by bringing in the bullish reversal. So Hammer shows that the sellers have tried their best, but the buyers proved stronger at this point. Now the confirmation happens when the price trades above the high of the Hammer's candle over here. So which of these are Hammer candlestick patterns? Remember, the size of the wick or the shadow must be at least two times longer than the body. As you can see that all the shadows are at least two times longer than the body, all of these patterns are hammer patterns. So let's have a quick recap. The hammer indicates a bullish reversal trend. You must spot a hammer after a downtrend. The body in comparison to the tail must be small and the tail or the shadow must be two times the size of the body. When you spot a hammer, it means the bulls or the buyers are back in control and the sellers or the bears are tired. So you must wait for the price to trade above the hammer candle's real body for a confirmation. Okay, let's move on to hanging man. Hanging man is a bearish reversal pattern. You can guess the trend by the name, as a hanging man is obviously a negative indication, right? The body can either be red or green. The shadow of this candle appears below the body and is at least two times the size of the real body of the candle. This candle resembles a hammer. And as I said, like the hammer, usually there is no shadow above the body of the candle, but sometimes you may find a small shadow. Now for some it may be confusing as both the hammer and the hanging man look the same, right? So how can you spot a hanging man? A hanging man is spotted after an uptrend and a gap up from the close of the previous candle to the open of the hanging man candle should be seen. So how do you confirm the trade here? When the price trades below the low of the hanging man candle, that's your confirmation. Now some traders may move as soon as they see the price trading below the candle's shadow over here. Some others may wait for another candle below the low. So it depends on the way you trade and what works best for you. So which of these are hanging man candlestick patterns? Well, all of them are hanging man. Remember, the size of the wick or the shadow must be at least two times longer than the body. What you need to remember is that a candlestick reversal pattern just shows a higher probability of a trend change, possibly to the opposite direction or sometimes to a sideways trend. The color of these candles don't matter. What matters is its location in the current trend. The hammer is seen at the bottom of a chart after a downtrend indicating a bullish reversal, whereas the hanging man is seen at the top of the chart after an uptrend indicating a bearish reversal. But remember, there are no guarantees here. It's always a probability. So remember to always trade with the right entry position and manage your risk with the right profit and loss ratio so your capital is safe at all times. If you found this video useful, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.